Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're making some homemade fruit gummies. These are all natural, they can be made with fresh squeezed juice, and they're actually really easy. We're gonna be using the Fruit Shack here to create these gummies. You can find these on Amazon, and each kit comes with two droppers, four trays, and four different shape molds. So I'll be showing you a different recipe for each mold today. To start off, I'm gonna be making our grape gummies, and I'm gonna be using some pre-done juice. This is just organic juice I got at the natural food store. You can use fresh squeeze, which is what I'm gonna be using for the rest of the recipes, but in a pinch, this'll do. So we add our juice, we add our gelatin, get that all in there, and then you're just gonna let it do its thing for just about three minutes. Next, we'll take it over to the stove and mix until it's dissolved and warm, but not quite boiling. Then you're ready to start filling your molds. Aren't these so cute? They're little grapes, which is totally appropriate because we're making grape gummies. When they're all filled, we're gonna place them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes until set. At that point, we can take them out of the refrigerator, pop them out of the molds, and they're ready to eat. I really love the freedom of being able to put whatever you want in these, and you can skip all of that unnecessary packaging. For recipe number two, we're gonna be making our orange gummies. This one I kept very, very simple and I just used some fresh squeezed orange juice and a little ascorbic acid. So same thing here, pour your juice into your little pot. You're gonna add in gelatin and let that do its thing. I also added a little bit of honey, so you can do that to sweeten them slightly. And I love doing that in a natural way rather than all the added sugar from typical fruit snacks. Again, we did corresponding molds, so for orange I did the orange molds. And look how cute they are when they're done, little oranges. Next up, we're making our strawberry gummies. And for this, I did some fresh juicing of strawberries. I gotta admit, I don't think I've ever juiced strawberries before, but they're really good. I added a tablespoon of lime juice to this one and it just really complemented the flavor, made them a little bit more tangy. But for the gummies, it was perfect. I added a little bit of honey and then did the gelatin. I also let that sit on the stove. I added the honey on this one after it was already starting to get warm. You can do it either way. And then once it was dissolved, then I filled up our molds. One of the nice things about this kit that it has two of the droppers in it. Number one, you're able to get really precise, but also you can fill up molds and let your kids help too. So as long as they're you know old enough to be careful, it's kind of a fun little mommy and me project. And of course, they're gonna wanna eat them even more <laughs> if they're helping along the way. So I love that about these. Now, if you do what I did and you forget to put your molds on the trays, Never fear, because the card that they insert <laughs> works perfectly. <laughs> so I realized that I hadn't showed you how to pop these out of the molds yet, so I figured I would show you on the strawberry. You can see they just come out really easily. I think it's all about having the right proportion of the gelatin you're using and the fruit juice, but any juice will do. Last up, we are making our apple and spinach gummies. These taste so good, and I love that they're green, thinning with the apple, it just was really cute. And you don't taste the spinach really at all, but you still get all the good nutrients. This one I actually added three or four handfuls of spinach, and like I said, you don't taste it at all. So we had our fresh juice, gelatin, let it sit, cooked it on the stove, and then put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And there you go. They're great in school lunches, anything you're doing with the kids. And I have to be honest, our kids hadn't ever had gummies until I got this kit and started making them. Which one's your favorite, Kim? I like the orange one and the green one and the strawberry one and the blackberry one. You liked them all. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to share it on social media if you want to share with your friends how they can make natural gummies with fresh juice. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs>